as long as hearts exist inside people, there will always be those who suffer. And then something strange enters their mind, causing a strange disease to manifest itself in the body. The illness, which is called a mysterious disease, unknown to most, but certainly exists. There is a doctor and a practice who fights the disease, which modern medicine cannot cure. His name is Ramine. He acts freely all the time, is foul mouth, and doesn't even look like a doctor. However, once he is confronted with a mysterious disease, he's able to quickly uncover the root of what causes his patients deep seated distress and cure him. And beyond that, well, I can't tell much much else of this anime until you jump in and watch for yourself. This anime has about 12 episodes, from January 10, 2021 to March 28, 2021, based on a popular manga series. Its genre is supernatural. Its theme is medical and psychological. Demographic is shown in each episode's 20 minutes per episode, rated PG-13. Let's get started into this review. What I really like about uh, Dr. Rame, Mysterious Disease Specialist, is that, you know, he is named after the Papa Japanese soda. But with that being said, I feel like... You're in for an interesting treat and a good time when you dive into this anime. With that being said, it just arose around Dr. Ramune, who helps patients with their mysterious diseases, such as, you know, you will see a lot of interesting characters who have a lot of interesting diseases, which is based on, I think you'll see a lot of repetition of, this, of a familiar line, how stress is mostly caused in the particular cubic peculiar patients that come see Dr. Ramune. And, you know, he might not, at first, he does not look like a doctor at all but like each time you know he encounters new patients people have new diseases they just seem to unravel more and more mystery about their home life now with that being said i feel like along with the supernatural phenomena that occurs and afflicts these patients you know that modern medicine and normal humans can't really comprehend except he can you think how does your body handle stress pain obsession and if you won't listen to your own crying voice or your anxiety you know what magical affliction mysterious illness will appear to make it seem that you need help and to get checked out by a doctor or a physician or a psychiatrist in this case is more like psychological for most of these patients especially with um the next image i'm about to show you especially this woman she has basically pop stickers covering her ears now i won't say why she has them because i'll give away the answer itself but i will say you know, from dumplings for ears, throwing up black sand, and crying condiments. That's very bizarre, you know. But overall, this anime will keep you on your toes. And also, I have a very eccentric doctor, just like Dr. Ramune, to help with these particular instances. He's the perfect man for the kids, along with his apprentice. Now, that being said, you know, a lot since we are going to be seeing a lot of psychological problems, along with mixed with that supernatural realm, along with a doctor who can cure it, even though this may be deceiving don't do the book by its cover he is there to help them and this is a lead to cure them you also have the other interesting side characters of the show you have the mysterious item shock uh accuse you have grandma ayama and the shock Higa nico with the exception of being uh momiji rami's mastered and don't be fooled by akane's child like appearance and look she's over well 100 years old and seemingly has the memory of everything everyone and everything from her past life other than that, she's the maker of mysterious item that Ramune constantly uses to deal with patients that have these mysterious illness. And along with shopkeeper Nico, well, he's interested with himself, but I won't give too much away about him. He's have to watch the anime for himself. But overall, in the cases of, you know, Ramune's master, we will get a bit of taste for overall. You see how they kind of correlate their relationship and how they really work well off each other, especially with the other characters and the side characters within them themselves it's just a really enjoyable anime that i thought was really interesting because you know you think the disease of each of these characters that were very unique and they were serious in their other in their own ways but also the ways that he helped cure these pages were also very interesting to watch and the items that were used for temporary fixes whereas the disease themselves had to be cured by facing facing it head on and you know it, it was really up to the patients that you know, in order to cure it, they really had to, like, look within themselves to cure the disease that was basically affected them. But definitely check out uh, Dr. Ramine and see what you think. Because I thoroughly enjoyed this anime. I thought it just was spectacular and just, you know, kind of dealt with a lot of, not, not deep-seated issues. But I think, you know, what would happen to the human mind if they put on them much more strength? And what would happen if those, like, ailments that affect us, like, we get their cold or whatever have you, return more along with a supernatural element to help speed along the process but definitely check it out if you haven't seen this anime for yourself and let me know what you think but until then bye